Hey everybody, okay, gonna do a couple more examples on trigonometry. These are uh, mainly involving the word problem section. So we've been over basic trig ratios, sine, cosine, and tangent, applying to right triangles. We did angles of elevation and depression, and now we're looking at some word problem applications, some where it gives you a figure already drawn, and some where you're going to have to draw your own figure, okay? So I'm gonna do four examples for you here. This should help you out, okay? Now these first ones are word problems, but they're still angle of depression and angle of elevation, okay? Uh, let's just read the problem and we'll get going, guys. This should help you out a little bit, all right? Uh, this problem here says a person snorkeling, all right? You can already see the situation, already has the figure drawn. Person snorkeling sees a turtle on the ocean floor at an angle of depression, okay? We mark that, angle of depression of 38 degrees. She is 14 feet above the ocean floor. How far from the turtle is she? Round to the nearest foot, okay? So guys, again, this is where it's giving us all the parameters of the problem. If it didn't give us this figure, we'd have to go in and label it. So she's 14 feet above the ocean floor, all right? That would be the height of my right triangle. How far is she from the turtle? That is the hypotenuse distance here. Okay, if it asks how far on the ground floor or the ocean floor is she, that would be the horizontal, but it's actually how far is a person from the turtle, okay? Now it gives us this angle of depression, which we remember from our last set of notes that this is outside the right triangle, so we're gonna have to do something to get this inside the right triangle, okay? Again, that's how far she's looking down to actually see the turtle, all right? Now the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna subtract from 90 to be able to get this reference angle inside my right triangle, so then I can use my sine cosine tangent ratios to solve for the missing piece here, okay? So again, 90 minus 38, okay? Now what that's gonna end up giving us, okay guys, is that 42 there, or I'm sorry, not 42, 52. 52, get going there. All right, so again, that's my reference angle there. So that's what goes inside my figure. That's where I'm gonna be starting, okay? Now again, I got that because a horizontal line and a vertical line intersect at a right angle. That's why I was able to subtract that angle of depression from that 90 degree angle to get an angle inside my triangle, okay? So starting from that angle, 52, we have the adjacent side, which is given to us. We're looking for the hypotenuse, okay? So this tells us that we're gonna be using cosine because cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, okay? Adjacent and hypotenuse, that means we're gonna be using cosine. So the cosine of 52 equals 14, our adjacent side, over x, our hypotenuse side, okay? Now, because x is on bottom, we're gonna to continue to use the tricks I've shown you in the previous videos. We're gonna do the old switch and divide, okay? So here, x equals 14 over the cosine of 52, okay? So you guys see, I just switched the two pieces. Now, this is the portion that we're gonna be evaluating in the calculator, all right? Okay, so I'll just do this. And again, I'm using the Web 2.0 Scientific Calculator. It's a good one. Uh, you guys, if you have access to a TI calculator or that software, you can use that as well. Okay, so again, 14 divided by, and I'm gonna be careful and use the cosine of 52. Okay, and I can put it straight in. It'll evaluate it. Makes it pretty nice, all right? So what I end up getting here is 22.7, okay, 22.73, okay, so x equals 22.7, okay, and again, that's gonna be feet, because that's what we started the problem as, okay? So there we go, there's our first answer. We're saying that she is 22.7 feet from the turtle, okay? All right, now, let's look at this next example. You see there's no figure given to us. This is where we're actually gonna have to draw our own. Now it says find the angle of elevation, okay? So I'm already thinking I'm gonna be looking for an angle, so I'm gonna to have to use the inverse sine, cosine, tangent, whatever it is, okay? Now, find the angle of elevation of the sun if a building 125 feet tall casts a shadow 196 feet tall. I want everybody to go ahead and look at this shadow word here. This is a shadow type problem. Again, this is all about right triangles. So it says round to the nearest degree, okay? So we're looking for the angle. It tells us the building is 125 feet tall and it casts a shadow 196 feet long. So let's draw our figure. Now I'm gonna draw a right triangle 
that looks darn near like the one we just had, guys, okay? And you're gonna see on these, I try to draw it with the height on the left, horizontal, and the hypotenuse, okay? So let's go ahead and start talking about this, all right? Now, let's think about the concept of shadows. When we see shadows, they don't appear to us floating in space, they're always on the ground, right? So when we say we have a shadow that's 196 feet long, that is our ground or horizontal distance. It tells us the building is 125 feet tall, so that would be our vertical, okay? Now, what it asks us for is the angle of elevation, okay? That's usually the bottom angle, but let's think about this. If this is our building here and we're casting this shadow, that means the sun is somewhere up here and he's a happy sun, okay? All right, little smiley face, all right? So what we're gonna be looking for is this angle down here in the bottom right of my figure. That is typically, the bottom angle is typically your angle of elevation just to help you out with that. Now from this, we have all the information we need to be able to solve for this stuff, guys, okay? So what I'm gonna do here, all right, I'm gonna use X, all right? So from X, we have the opposite side given to us. We have the adjacent side given to us. So we're gonna be using the tangent function to solve for the X here, all right? So again, setting it up, the tangent of X equals 125 over 196, all right? So if you remember from our tricks, guys, we would be taking the inverse tangent of both sides. Okay, that's the tan to the negative first. All right, now remember that cancels us out, leaving us with just X. Those are inverse, uh, inverse functions there. So X equals the tangent to the negative first, inverse tangent of 125 over 196, okay? So this is what I'm gonna be evaluating, all right? So I get 125 over 196. And again, if you have the uh, TI calculator, it just makes it a little more basic here. All right, so again, uh, since I'm using the web 2.0 on the, on the internet, just gotta do it a little more slow, a little more complicated here. So 125 over 196, we get that decimal value. We're gonna take the inverse tangent. Okay, so we take the inverse tangent of that value, we hit enter, and what we end up getting here is 32.5, okay? So X equals 32.5, but that's not our final answer, because remember guys, when we're looking for an angle, it's gotta be to the nearest degree. So here X is just 33 degrees, that's it, okay? Rounding up to 33 there, all right? So again, we're using the inverse, that tan to the negative first, because it's an angle of elevation problem. We're solving for an angle. We're using tangent because from that angle we have the opposite and adjacent. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, going back to our trig ratios, okay? All right, a couple more examples here, guys. Let's look at some other ones. All right, a very similar problem. Just wanna reiterate the shapes that y'all are making here, guys. A tree cast a shadow. There we go, we got another shadow problem. Now here it tells us the angle of elevation, but asks us the height of this tree. So a tree casts a shadow 21 meters long. The angle of the elevation with the sun is 51. What is the height of the tree? So I'm gonna draw my right triangle. And you see, I'm basically using the same right triangle that I've been using on all the other problems, okay? Doesn't have to be pretty or perfect, but it needs to be accurate, all right? Tree cast a shadow, shadow is on the ground, that's where our 21. Angle of elevation with the sun is 51 degrees down here in the bottom corner, because once again, the sun is up here in the corner. Okay, so there's our shadow casting. This would be our tree here, just kinda, I know I'm not drawing beautiful figures here for you guys, but they're pretty good. And it asks us what the height of the tree is, okay? So again, that vertical distance, that would be our height. So here, we have our angle of elevation. Angle of elevation's already in the triangle. We don't need to do anything extra. We have the opposite side that we're looking for. We have the adjacent side that's given to us. So because we have opposite and adjacent from our reference angle, we're gonna be using tangent again. So this will be the tangent of 51 equals X over 21, okay? Now, X is on top, guys, okay? Where's the variable? Is it up top, is it down bottom, or is it in the angle spot? Here it's up top, so I'm gonna take the other two pieces here and I'm just gonna multiply them together. That's the trick, guys, okay? X equals 21 times the tangent of 51, okay? 
Now again, you can evaluate this in your calculator, tangent of 51 in the calculator, you hit enter, and then you multiply that by 21 here, you hit enter, what you end up getting here, rounded to the nearest tenth, because we're looking for a side measure, x is 25.9, and it's meters, because that's what we started the problem with. I don't think I mentioned that, okay? Again, the shadow is 21 meters, so my final answer is also in meters, okay? All right, so guys, there's three examples here. Um, again, word problems where we're having to draw the figure, okay? First one was given to us, next two we have to draw. You see, I just used the same triangle. Think about the situation. What's the vertical, what's the horizontal, what's the hypotenuse, all right? Look at your reference angles, go off what it gives you, and then decide whether it's tangent, sine, or cosine. And then from there, where's the variable? Is it up top, is it down bottom, or is it in the angle spot? And that'll tell you how to solve, okay? So there's three more word problem type examples, guys. Uh, keep doing your best on the Khan Academy stuff. I know y'all are doing a great job. I had a bunch of people get signed up. Biggest thing I wanna stress, guys, is take your time, watch the videos, and you do not stress out about this stuff. We will get through this. You do your absolute best so we can be sharp when we, whenever it is we get back to school, okay? Don't stress out about it. Do what you gotta do. I appreciate the heck out of all y'all, all right? See y'all soon. Bye.